Gotta get fly just to listen to this shit. Got brand new glass. Yo, what's up boys, it's Flashy here, back with another video. So today I'll be showing you guys a tutorial on how to do that one frame skin glow buildup you just saw. Yes, you only need to mask one single frame and you're not even going to actually mask it with your own hands. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So first what you're going to do is add your velocity and sync it up with a clip. So then you're going to want to add the impact. I won't be showing you guys my velocity because like you're going to need to buy my pack that's going to come out soon. So you guys just need to wait for that. And then after, you'll have my velocity, everything, every single project file I've ever had. That's just a little teaser. And then you'll have uh, this impact. This is on my pack as well, but I just wanted I just wanted this tutorial, so I just put it in. So you're going to want to put in flashy RGB impact. And then it should look pretty good, so just pre-render it just to see. As you can see, it looks very good. So first for me... Okay, so then you're going to want to go 30 frames back. You can also go 40, but for me, I'm going to do 30. 40 looks way better, though. So you're going to want to split, remove these, fade in and fade outs. And then you're going to want to click right here on the effects button. So just wait for it to load up. And you're going to go to, what? Uh, well, just wait for it to load in. You're going to see flashy red glow overlay. I kind of created the overlay because all you guys can probably find is the rainbow overlay. But this is much easier and it looks way, way better. So then right here it is, red glow overlay. You're going to click add and then click OK. As you can see, it does not really look that good. So you're going to want to go to pan and crop. You're going to want to enable masking right here in this white dot and then click on it. And then it should enable it. And then when you first load in, it should you should be automatically cl clicking on this anchor creation tool. But what you're going to want to do is just go to oval or circle mask creation tool. And what you're going to want to do is you guys can copy my zoom offset and whatever. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the top and go all the way down. So right here. Yes, I know it doesn't really look that good, but you're going to want to click out and then you're going to want to make the feather type 20. And this will look way better because what you're going to want to do now is click on it and then click U, and then you're going to want to duplicate this right down there and then now you're gonna remove everything a re effect so just wait for it to get removed right there and then you're gonna want to reset the mask so, so just delete this and then just do and then right here disable masking but just let me reset this okay now as you can see it looks like that but we're also gonna want to add the flicker tool so it can look way better. By the way, do not turn on the uh, S underscore blur, the Sapphire plugin for blur, because it'll look very ugly like that. But yeah, so now if you want the flicker effect, you're going to want to go one, two, three, four, five, and then split. One, two, three, four, five, and then split. You're going to want to split it by five frames all the way up till the marker at the end. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And right here is all the way up to the end. So now you're going to want to do the same thing for below. And don't do it for this audio track, but do it for the music. Um, well, I split it at the wrong place. Right there, keep doing it. Okay, so now you're going to want to remove the fade in and fade outs that Vegas automatically puts for you. Because it'll sound very bad if you put it there. Just remove it. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here. And then you're going to want to go to the first, to the second frame right here. And then you're going to turn the opacity down. You're also going to do it for the one down here. So as you can see, you, you can see like a little flicker effect. And then right here, you're going to want to turn the opacity down. And you're going to want to turn the opacity down. So you see how I did it? It's like a pattern. You leave it for one for one for one part of five frames, and then you turn it off, and then you turn it on, and then you turn it off, all the way down basically. And then you're gonna do the same thing for at the end, and then now you're gonna want to do the same thing for the audio. You're gonna turn it down on the clips. You turned it down above. Just turn it down and turn it down. So as you can see, you can see a little flicker effect right there, and then the impact comes. So this is how it should sound and look. Let me pre-render from the beginning. And it should look like this. Just wait for it to pre-render. Oh, it doesn't pre-render the full thing. So we're just going to do this. 
one second as soon as it's done pre-rendering. It shouldn't take very long, but my PC is bad, so it takes a long time. So you're going on to pre-render again, and then one more time. I had a pre-render, you got to do shift plus B. So now you want to play. You gotta get five, just listen to the sick. As you can see, it looks so good. And the sound effect is also so, goes so good with it too. I just listen to the sick. I Glass, it doesn't even take that much work. It takes like two minutes in total just to finish it, or a minute. And you only got to mask one single frame. Sick, Glass, got Pippen in this idea came from Zinx BTW. Please go subscribe to him. He's the one that gave me this idea. And he's the one that told me to make it because he needed it too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if like and subscribe if this was helpful to you. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.